It's about beekeeping families, about tradition, about their love for bees, their love for the, the bee industry, taking care of bees, producing high quality honey. Ray's Honey Company, Tina, Minnesota. My dad was the top man at, at that company. That's my dad, my brother, and myself in 1974. Beekeeping is big families. Brothers, sons, dads, grandfathers. Sometimes they go, sometimes they come back. They find out that now they want to be part of the family. It's a family deal. My first go around was I was working in a restaurant in the Twin Cities and uh, I come out from doing the lunch service and there was a swarm of bees hanging in a small tree. I put my motorcycle helmet on first, put my t-shirt up over my face and shook them into a box and strapped them to the back of my motorcycle. That's how I got started in beekeeping. I didn't expect it, I wasn't looking for it. It went from a hobby to I gotta be a commercial beekeeper. I sold the house and I sold a motorcycle that I loved dearly. So I went from four colonies the first year, to 35, to 200, to 600, to 1,200. It took me about 25 years before I could buy another motorcycle. So this business was built, but it, didn't, it was not built just by me. It was built by my family. It was built by my brother, my sons, my wife. Nothing is done just by yourself. As with most businesses, it's a lifetime endeavor. That's why it's a generational thing. So when I take care of the bees, I realize that these bees don't belong to me. I'm just here taking care of them. How much money does one person need to make? I run 5,500 colonies and do I need to run 20,000 or 30,000? No, I don't need to. Probably the most important thing that I've tried to impress on my sons and my grandsons is your name. No matter how much money you got, how many bees you got, whatever, it's your name. So if you say you're gonna do something, you better do it. And you better take it seriously. 40 years, it's a long time. I was a young man when I started this. Now I'm not young anymore. <laughs>